Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Thank you for tuning in. <clears throat> Thank you for your faithfulness, your kindness. You folks are so very kind and encouraging to me. And I, I just love every one of you. So many write almost on a daily basis, at least several times a week. God bless each and every one of you. I pray for you. Now today, again, just to remind you, prayer time for our list will be on Thursday. Only this week, we'll move it back to Monday. But I have been on overload uh, with what is going on in Israel. And I put up that afternoon video yesterday and told you when I complete this video, it will go up at uh, five o'clock. And then 30 minutes later, the word that I uh, received back in the spring and recorded in August will go up. And I hope and pray that you listen to that word again as I re-listen to it again. Um, this is a word, you know, God gives us these words early. We can't see what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen uh, even tomorrow in Israel. But um, I'm going to pray first so that um, whatever comes out of my mouth is the Holy Spirit. And um, I will make clear what I think are just my thoughts. Uh, my thoughts don't matter. Only God knows where this is going to go. We know that Israel is victorious because the Jewish people are in the tribulation. Amen. So we know Israel will win this. No matter how many more countries get involved, Israel will be victorious because of Almighty God. And I know that more and more of the uh, Jewish people will be saved, will be saved. There are quite a number of the Jews that are Christians now, but we will see more that will be saved in this bloodshed, in this war. So let me just pray that the Holy Spirit moves through me, that I don't waste words. This is only what God uh, you know, would have for us. Amen. That's all that matters. Lord, please take my mind and my thoughts and my voice and my words, Lord God. Let me be your vessel to your people, Lord God. Lord, there will be many lies coming out in the next days and weeks and months, Lord God. Many lies will come. Many people will come on YouTube with um with well-meaning thoughts perhaps and others with lies lord god and persecution is just starting now for the jewish people lord god so lord take my voice take my words lord god have your way in this video lord god and that we would pick we would know only what you would have us know at this point in this day and time. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We give glory and honor to you, Lord God. And out of obedience, Lord, and your love in our heart, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and the uh, people of Israel, Lord God. <clears throat> We lift up the hostages. We lift up the soldiers, Lord God. We pray for the innocent people in uh, Gaza, Lord God. We pray for them, Lord God. And Lord, they just want to feed their families and work and have peace in their life. They're, they've been under a regime, Lord God, as many countries, Lord God. When you say pray for our enemies, Lord God, these people are innocent in these countries, Lord God, as we have no control really over our demons in charge of our nations, Lord God. Things are happening. Things are happening quickly, Lord God. Let us not lose focus of who we are and who you are and that you have all things in your hand. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I was listening to my TV. I woke up, picked up my phone just as you did whatever day, Saturday or Sunday, and I have been glued to my TV. As we know, we are in the last of the last days and we are becoming, uh, it's a, re a realization to us now, today more than ever. Tomorrow will be very different. We will never go back to what yesterday was, people of God. It will be changing each and every day. We are rushing now into the birthing pains Uh and I'm sharing this word of knowledge that I've received from God. I spoke of it yesterday. Today's Tuesday. The word of knowledge is that um, 
pardon me, we are at the beginning of the end. We are now at the beginning of the end. Perhaps my thoughts are the baby is soon entering the birthing ch uh, channel, the birthing canal. We are the word of knowledge. We are at the beginning of the end. Buckle up, church. Um, buckle up. The word that the Lord gave me August 15th that I posted, I had it as of last spring, will come again uh, within minutes after this uh, video. We These two go together. But the word of knowledge, we are now at the beginning of the end. If you think things were happening quickly uh, yesterday, they are going to be excelling and quickly. Days will be changing each and every day that we are on this earth. We will be amazed. I feel the Holy Spirit. We will be amazed what will happen in one week's time. We will be amazed at what will happen next week from what we will never go back, church. The evil ones are on a roll. We are watching the snowball getting bigger and bigger rolling down the mountain. We are never going to be back to what we were. Things will only excel from here on. Now, this is not to frighten you. This is to prepare you. We need to be in prayer. If we are in a place of nonsense and sin, it's time to sever that cord. If we are going to places we shouldn't be, if we are doing habits we should not be, it's time to sever that cord. And church, I have children that you have children, you have grandchildren, you have husbands, you have wives that are not in a good place. It's time to be praying for these people with more fervent prayers, with more power of the Holy Ghost, because times are moving quickly ahead. We are like a snowball rolling down the hill. Things are growing things are happening quicker and quicker. And this is not to frighten you. And I want to share, I had a word, which I thought was for New York City. This was two weeks ago. And perhaps it was, but, and perhaps it is. What is happening now in Israel is very possibly going to happen in America. We don't even have a fence to be penetrated. We have seven to eight million people that have rushed our borders. Many are men of military ages, of countries that do that hate America, that hate Americans. Amen. They have penetrated our borders. And I'm going to tell you this word for New York City. I have a lot of viewers in New York City. We all must have food and water in our home. In case we can't leave our homes, okay? Have some cash in your home, okay? You know, I've, I've spoken of this a couple times. I'm careful not to frighten people, but my eyes are open, church, and I am a watchman, and it's time for me to speak boldly in truth. And you know, I've not held back. I've held back sometimes these words for weeks and months until the witness of the Holy Spirit says to me, speak now this word, speak now. The word that's following I had last spring, I posted in August. You will hear that next. So after you hear this message is within minutes, you will see that message. Put them together. Listen, this message is a precursor to that word. It's happening now. That situation that the Lord told me was coming in fall is the war that is happening now in Israel. It will have far-reaching effects, church. It will have far-reaching effects. Now, moving a little bit over here, because the enemy has us watching here. We are so familiar with us over this the last few years. Look here as we do this. Be watching here. Your concern is here, and this is happening. And we know that that's the pattern of Satan. Amen. We know he's on a move. We know he will soon be deemed powerless and sent into the pit of hell where he belongs. But we're on to his tricks. Amen. Amen and amen. So listen, I had a word a couple weeks ago. I called the Times Square Church in New York City. The word was that there's a pimple festering and it will soon burst and the poison will be upon the streets. And for the people to be prepared 
to have food and water and money in their house that they need to be prepared to shelter. And then within days, the floods went into New York City, flooded out the flooded out the sewer system, flooded out um, the subways. It was a disaster in much of New York City. And I thought perhaps that's what the word meant. But now I'm wondering with, look here at Israel, this is happening. And with the 7 million uh, people that flooded our borders, if only 5% are people that are have bad motives, then maybe we need to watch our cities, particularly New York City. So this is what I'm thinking. I took it as the flood that flooded the city out and the sewers were going into the street and the garbage was floating through. the. And I thought that was the poison. But maybe as we look here and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that is going to happen there. I don't know, but I just know that each and every one of us need to have, whether it be five pounds of beans, folks, if you can go out and spend five dollars on beans, amen, have case, a couple cases of water, have some cash, even if you have just twenty dollars, start putting in away ten dollars, amen. We will never go back even to what it was, like Israel will never go back to what their life was was a week ago that'll never come back and i i i feel in my spirit that america i perhaps europe perhaps australia uh they they are more protected on their borders but europe is not so the west i believe will soon be changed. I believe that's what the word said. Much is going to happen. I think it's what's gone on in Israel. Amen. And I think there's a possibility that word I got two weeks ago and called in to Times Square to tell them to please tell their people, which I'm sure most of them are already supplied. But I say it to you listening to my voice today. If you have folks in another state, if another country, uh, you have believers that are dear to you that are not tuned into this channel, share both of these words now and the word that will follow. I'm talking a little longer. I had a 15 minute gap, but I can see I'm going to go over that 15 minutes. So it'll be another 15 minutes that the word in August about what's coming in the fall will play probably in 15, 20 minutes. So that's what I wanted to share. I waited. I've been listening. I've been watching. I've been seeking the spirit. My head's been ready to bust. I wanted to um, have only what the spirit would have me say, not to frighten you, but church, we need our eyes wide open. We need to be on our knees in prayer and pray for discernment. Pray that we might have much wisdom to discern because more and more lies are going to come at us. More and more uh, Jews are going to be in danger worldwide. They've already been on the streets in Paris, London, New York, a city in Florida, I can't think of it, with their green flags waving. We have people people in our House of Representatives. So I would say to you people, and even at the UN, how is that two-state uh, two solution working out for you? How is that working out? And yet they will push it, and they will push it, and they will push it. And I believe Israel will not have it anymore. I believe Israel will go full force. Perhaps they will be hit by the north. Perhaps this will take us into the Ezekiel War, Ezekiel 37 through 39. Read that. Perhaps this will lead us to Isaiah 17, Damascus being destroyed, perhaps. Perhaps the war of Psalm 83, some believe it happens, some do not. I would say perhaps we don't know because only God knows and tomorrow it'll be different and only God knows tomorrow. But be prepared, church. Um, these words, I, I have a suspicion today 
that this word for New York City was uh, there's a possibility because this is happening here and they're doing other things here. And if we think for one moment in Europe, in America, that we don't have bad people when seven or eight million people flood our borders, mostly young males. If you believe for one moment that America will come unscathed, we are not in Revelations. We are not. We are not the Babylon of Revelation. We are going to be deemed powerless. Perhaps this is the time. So if you're dealing with things in your life that are not of God, you better shed them. It's a no-nonsense time from here on out. We need to be yielded. We need to be in prayer. We need to be in the Word of God. And we need to hold each other really tight and have unity in the body of Christ. We need the true believers to hang on to each other, to encourage each other, because these will not be easy times ahead. I, I wish I had better things to say today, but I have to be uh, yielded to God. I have to be that watchman. I have to use these gifts and the anointing of the Holy Spirit as he directs as he directs. And after today, God has some precious love words that will encourage you because that's who he is. He will never put us on overload, but he will cause us to be wise and discerning. And he will tell us ahead through his people, through his vessels, through his watchmen, through his prophets, what is ahead. Be careful what you listen to. Line it up with the word of God. And I will tell you, folks, I have to pull out myself. I have to go for a drive. I have to get a cup of coffee. Take your children. We are human beings with these emotions. Take your children and your grandchildren to the park. Go for a walk. Meet a friend with coffee. You have to pull away. And yet you have to be in prayer. You have to know. And you have to... Uh, be in the word, know the word, church, know the word. And we are victorious. This is uh, the beginning of the end, but this is the beginning to our new life, to our forever life. We serve a mighty God. His love shine upon you. His grace, his mercy go with you in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless.